Happy Tuesday, everybody. Oh, we're so excited today. We have got the best half hour, about a half an hour, here for you today because it's our superhero week. And every day this week, we are interviewing the best of the best superheroes that have been on our program and done amazing things to the point of actually transforming their lives. So not only are they transformed on the outside and look absolutely incredible, they've been transformed on the inside too. And really at the end of the day, that's what's most important. And that's what we get so much heartwarming love from is when our super fasters say, not only have I lost X number of kilos, but I feel happy now. I feel that I've actually loved myself again, whereas before I didn't feel I was worth it. So they're the stories we're going to be telling you today. And we have got the most beautiful Shelley Moore, um, who's waiting to come on and chat to you today. Now, Shelley's lost 15 kilos, um, but not only that, she's really, really transformed her life. And we want to tell you all about it, and you'll be able to ask any questions at all that you would like to ask. And truly, Shelley will answer them completely honestly from her heart. So if you're watching us, say hi. Oh, there's Kelly. Hey, Kelly. And we have got such an exciting thing to tell you because Kelly actually is from Glam Corner, Glam Corner um, online. And we are giving away a $100 gift voucher to the best question. So how exciting is that? So that's great incentive to actually ask anything at all. And there is no such thing as a silly question. Ask whatever's on your, on your mind, on your heart. What is your burning question? And we will answer. So say hi, Lillian's there, Chris is there, Sonia's there. Hey, everybody, Hazel, gosh, we're all coming on board. This is fantastic. So um, thanks for joining us this afternoon. And if, if you would give us a like, give us a hi, let us know that you're watching because we love to know that you are um, out there and we can actually ask, answer all of your questions and, you know, all of your comments. And I know Shelley would love to hear from you. So as I said, say hi if you're watching. and. As we go down, so not only do we have um, a $100 voucher for Glam Corner, we've got other prizes as well. But let me tell you about Glam Corner because it's such a fantastic find. I know my super cool friends use it all the time when they're going to Glam occasions. So rather than buying a new dress, you can just get it ordered to your door and you wear it and then you send it back. It's such a great concept. But not only that, if you're losing weight, it's brilliant because as you go down in size, you don't want to be buying expensive clothes. So that's why we've partnered up with Glam Corner and we're really excited. And you can get a $100 voucher. And I've been on the, on the website today. That can get you some really gorgeous clothes for your next special occasion. So the other thing we're giving away is our magazine as well. So not we're not just doing one prize, but we'll be giving away lots of these magazines today for people who comment. And actually, I remember Shelley very early on, she's nodding, you'll get to see her, um, won a magazine in one of our early lives when she first started for answering the questions. So welcome back to our superhero week and it's just such an exciting week here at um, Superfast Diet. We're continuing all the celebrations every single day. We've got someone fantastic for you to chat to and lots and lots of fun to be had and if you haven't joined us yet at Superfast Diet we've got an amazing offer 14 days completely free. Um, so all you have to do is jump on superfastdiet.com, click the join now button and claim your free two weeks to give it a go for yourself. So today we're chatting to the amazing Shelley, 
And if you've got any questions or comments, please, please do, um, do not hesitate. I'm going to bring her in right now. Here she comes. This is the wonders of technology. Hey, Shelley. Hi. How are you? Oh, I am fantastic and all the better for seeing you, you gorgeous thing. Oh, you know, that was that was such a trip down memory lane, um, remembering when I did look at one of your first lives and got to win a magazine and that magazine's still beside my bed. I oh. do look at it. It's like my little Bible beside my bed. And I start. that's how I started out on this program back in May of last year. I signed up for a two-week trial and never looked back. So, yeah. That's the oh, starting that's point. Great, that's a great <laughs> story. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. You're, you're a mum. You live in Melbourne. Yeah, I live in Bayside, Melbourne. I work in childcare and mm -hmm. I have um, basically spent my whole life trying to win the battle of the weight, you know. I, it's a pretty typical story. I think most women, especially of my age, I'm 42, so a lot can relate to spending, you know, 20 years trying different programs, madly going to the gym and then, you know, you go through the change of life of having a baby and then you try and bounce back from that and then you get into your late 30s, early 40s and sometimes your hormones start to get in the way and you start to sure. just think, oh, well, you know, this is my lot, this is this is how it is for me. And that's exactly where I was at when I signed up with Superfast. Just at that, the end, at the end of the line, basically, that's where I was. So Yeah, look, we've got lots of people jumping on. We've got Alice, we've got Nicola, we've got Donna, we've got Leslie, Hazel, Sonia, Lillian, Chris. Wow, we've got lots of busy <laughs> Hi everyone. everybody jumping on <laughs> to say hi, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to show you everybody. If, if I can figure it out, I think I can. Da -da -da -da. Have a look at Shelley's before, before and after. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What I, a transformation. I, I remember. And actually, I think when I posted that particular photo last September, I put up something along the lines of saying that in the photo on the left, I was happy on the outside. And then the photo on the right was happy from the inside out. And that is oh. such an important change because I was plastering on that fake smile that let's pretend everything's fine and I know from looking at that second photo that that is just genuine inside out feeling fantastic feeling healthy I yeah I can't describe it better than that actually wow and were you at your goal weight there on the right Shelley yeah, absolutely. That's the yeah. 15 kilos. That's the 15 yep. kilos. That is yep. so amazing. Well done. Wow. So tell us what a little bit more about what was life like before you discovered Superfast Diet. Oh, life was just a roller coaster. Life was continually looking for the quick fix. I was always thinking... I'm just a few months away from finding something that's going to lose this weight. And so it was just trying program after program and finding that, you know, I might go okay for maybe a month or two months and then just as quickly as I started to make progress, I'd be back at square one because I'd give up. I literally would give up on everything that I was doing. I was constantly putting myself down and not thinking that I was capable of ever getting control of my weight. Um, I put a label on myself quite early on that I've realised now really held me back and that was thinking that I was an emotional eater. So that oh. I sort of gave myself a free pass because that was the story and the loop inside my head. So I didn't feel that I had any control over that part of my life. I just thought... This is just how it is. I react to situations and circumstances and there's nothing that I can do about it. That was, mm. that was sort of that, that story. So that, That's really interesting. Yeah, the stories we tell ourselves are so powerful and can mm. be so destructive, can't they? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, I've got a couple of questions for you. Um, okay. Leslie says, hi, Shelley. How, Hi, did Leslie. You keep, 
How did you keep yourself on track 100% of the time and what did you do when you went off track? Great question, well, Leslie. Yeah, and maybe um, this is really tapping into something I actually said last week. It's funny where I was sort of explaining an analogy of saying I was like a runaway train, speaking of being on track, because I did feel that I was just completely out of control all of the time. So being in control for me is just about sticking to my fast days. That's as simple as I make some weeks. If I know that things are crazy, I just say, get your two fast days in and don't worry about the rest because that keeps me on track. Excellent, excellent. So what had you tried before you discovered super fast diet? I had tried every method of program, exercise, um, meal plan, buying food, um, shakes. I'd done all the different shakes out there. Um, Basically everything that you can think of I had tried yeah. before. So, so how, how did you hear about us? How did, how did you find out? It was, a, it was a summer of last year, so it was before you actually launched the program. There was starting to be a bit of advertising that was happening online and I was seeing people like Shelley Horton and I was sort of on this email that I'd kept getting these pre-emails that were telling me about this program that was going to happen And I remember every time I'd open that email, I'd get excited for a second and then I'd think, oh, I don't really think that I'd be able to do that because I'd actually tried to do 5-2 once before and um, it hadn't worked for me. So I just thought, oh, look, it sounds great and it sounds exciting, but I don't really think it's for me. So I sort of held off for a little while and about two or three months into getting those emails and seeing things pop up on Facebook, I thought a two-week trial came up and I just thought it's time to just give it a go. Great. You know, what have I got to lose? It's a two-week exactly. trial. So that was, <laughs> that was how I jumped on board. Yeah, well, that and that's funnily enough, what a coincidence, that's exactly what we're doing now. We've got a two-week pre-trial. Yeah. I know. So anybody who wants to get who wants what Shelley's got, um, just jump onto superfastdiet.com and hit the join now button, the green join now, and you can get your two weeks free. Um, so we've got more questions. Oh, my goodness. Jeanette says, loving these live videos. Thanks, Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. Um, we've got Chris. Chris Art says, hi, Shelley. Is Superfast Diet safe for everyone apart from pregnancy and eating disorders? Um, well, probably I'd be the best one to answer that. Yeah, um, you go, Vicky. Um, because with the the medical side, we do have to be very Mm. careful, obviously, and medically responsible. Um, Yes, that is correct. If you're pregnant, um, we do not recommend you go on the program till after the baby's born. Um, It can be done if you're breastfeeding with your doctor's permission. Um, And certainly, um, if you've got any had any eating disorder in the past, it's not a good thing. Um, People with diabetes type one should check with their doctor. I mean, anyone with any major, um, you know, condition should check with Mm. their doctor. But apart from that, everybody else should be absolutely fine. So, in fact, um, you know, it can help a lot of um, medical situations. But you talk to your doctor. That's always Mm. the wisest, wisest um, thing to do. Um, So Diane says, hi, Shelley, do you always stick to two-day fast plan or do you do the three-day fast plan and part day two? So what Diane's talking about, for those of you who have not been um, exposed to our program before, is we have three main methods. We have two-day, three-day and part day, which is just eating within a, a certain window eating time, usually eight hours, um, where you eat within that time and you can still have up to 1,600 calories, which is quite a lot to eat if you're a female. So, Shelley, what do you do? I do the two-day method. I've yeah. always found that that has been the best way for me. I do occasionally combine it with the 16 8 window of eating but I only do that on my five two days so it's sort of like a mini supercharge and I always fast on a Monday and a Wednesday which is not really the norm a lot of our super fasters tend to do it on a Monday Thursday but I find for me if I do it on a Monday Wednesday it keeps me on track for the rest of the week because then Friday I'll weigh in 
which is just a little bit of a check-in with myself. And that keeps me on track over the weekend because the last thing I want to do after a great week is find myself on Monday basically fasting to try to undo the later part of the week. So that's, that's how it works for me. But any two days work of the five days. You know, it's whatever works in with your lifestyle. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, another question from, comes from Angie Marie. Is it safe for diabetic type 2? Um, yes, Angie, um, it, it has been said that it is completely safe. In fact, it can help reverse your diabetes according to some doctors. But, again, check with your doctor because, you know, individual, individual results do vary. Um, but Shelley Horton uh, certainly was diagnosed as um, pre-diabetic and now her her, it, she's now completely free of it. So, it, and there's lots of, if you have a look at Dr. Jason Fung, F-U-N-G, um, there's loads of uh, uh, videos on YouTube and he specialises in type 2 diabetes combined with intermittent fasting. So there's loads of re research out there which speaks very positively of combining intermittent fasting um, to help your diabetes. Um, so Shelley, tell us about your results. How much weight have you lost? And how I many have, dress sizes? I've dropped two dress sizes and lost 15 kilos. But for me, the biggest change was that I lost a lot of weight off my stomach area, which was mm -hmm. always, I, I think as a lot of us as women, it's the one area where we feel sort of self-conscious about. And I was carrying a lot of weight there. So I've lost 16 centimetres off my waist and apart from that being the two dress sizes, that has really transformed the way that I look overall. You know, that's such a change for me in terms of um, even the clothing that I wear now. I mean, oh. you know, I, I was always covering everything up because of that one area. It didn't matter about anything else. I literally just saw myself as this sort of round barrel and that's that's the biggest change for me so and what are you wearing now oh <laughs> what sort of clothes oh, oh just things that are more fitted I'm just more comfortable to put on something that I don't feel I have to layer that's basically I mean I do live in Melbourne so we do still layer a lot but it's just that feeling of not having to put on layers to feel that if I put on something I can just wear it as it is and I don't have to worry that if I'm standing side on that it's going to, you know, show lots of lumps and bumps and things. And, and this is the thing that I found with 5.2. It, it, it was the only thing because I have obviously I've lost weight in the past. We've all gone up and down and yo-yoed. When I've lost weight in the past, it didn't seem to be overall in the same way that this works for me, that 5.2 changes your whole shape. I feel like everything shrinks a little bit you don't just lose it in one spot so it's that overall sizing down yeah yeah that is true and actually mm. scientific studies have shown that intermittent fasting does do extra well with getting rid of belly fat so that, yes. is, that is there's scientific evidence that um that does go towards that point um so i, I have actually seen you in white jeans uh, yeah. <laughs> Back in and our that's summer, <laughs> brave. That's really brave to wear white jeans and and, oh, and wear. Not to mention yeah. active wear. Yeah. No, I never thought I'd wear white jeans. That was one of my first goals, actually. And I'm sure it would have been from seeing probably Jen wearing a pair or Angie wearing a pair. Um, you know, that's the thing. You've got this amazing community within the Facebook group where. Um, you just feel that everyone's achieving so much and it just gives you ideas and incentives and things to to do, to work on. So, you know, it's yeah. such, honestly, that group that you've created in there is such an organic, real group. And the other side of trying lots of weight loss programs is being in lots of sort of groups and Facebook or online things in the past, but nothing has ever compared to that, support the genuine honest support that is there with the members the way that everyone looks out for each other that we feel comfortable and safe to share the the ups and the downs and the fast fail days that we have sometimes or the plateaus and we're just saying oh I just want to get past this plateau 
you know, there's always someone there to give you just a little kind word or or incentive to to keep trying. So that's that's an amazing part of this particular member group. Oh well, that's great that you would say that, and I feel that that's probably one of the most important parts of our program because you can Absolutely. pick up a book and read how to do intermittent fasting, or you can Google it. That's one thing, but it's another thing to just get week by week support and inspiration and motivation because life has its ups and downs, doesn't it? Mm, and absolutely. everybody everybody has their challenges. So to have that really strong support group to say, come on, you can do it or, you know, maybe take a day off, you know, whatever, whatever the mm. advice is um, to get you through and keep you on track and accountable. And now, of course, Shelley, you have become one of our super coaches and we've mm-hmm. actually got Hazel, I think Hazel's, Yes, um, Hazel has said, since you've become one of our coaches, um, has it made you more accountable? Oh, absolutely. Of course it (laughs) makes me more accountable. I have to walk the walk. I can't just be telling other people how to do it. And, you know, it would be, yeah, it would be pretty silly of me if I didn't stick to it knowing after 12 months how easy it is. Um, Yeah, I can't imagine ever stepping off and, and walking away from it, to be honest. so right. um, It's a way of be, life now. Yeah. It is. It's a way of life. But I actually get more satisfaction now. Whatever the scales say for me, at the, it's what I'm giving to others now that is so important. You've, you've given me such an amazing gift to be able to help other people. It's just I can't explain what it means to be able to, to help other people to achieve the goals that they want to achieve because when you know after so many years of what it's like to to be feeling as low as as you possibly can, I've now seen members go through that and get out on the other side and, you know, that's that's incredible and I'm so proud of it. It's the best job in the world, I reckon. It is. It's (laughs) absolutely it is. That's great. And Sonia asks... What do you do when you're on holidays? Oh, Great question. Have, I'll tell you when I go on holidays. I haven't actually had a holiday in the last 12 months. Except a couple <laughs> of, I've had a trip up to Sydney and I'll have another trip soon. But I, I would guess, to be honest, that when I'm on holidays, I'll do exactly the same thing as I do now. There's no reason when I'm on holidays to not have a couple of fast days. If I'm away for a week, I'm certainly going to keep on track two days out of that seven days because I don't I don't want to come back from a holiday and feel like, you know, I've put myself back. It's it's a way of life and it fits in with everything. So I think, yeah. I, I mean, a lot of people that I've coached have, have been travelling and sometimes they just do 16-8 while they're away. That seems like a really good way to, to work in, you know. It gives you that, that eight-hour window and you can certainly – eat and drink and enjoy yourself so yeah that's exactly what I do when I go away I tend to do 16 8 I just yep. don't have breakfast so I'll still mm. go to breakfast with my family and I'll just have a, a nice coffee yeah. um and I'm happy with that and then yep. I'll have lunch and dinner with them as normal and it's easy it's so yep. easy to do it um mm. Kay, Kay is here and Kay says oh, hi Kay. Kelly thanks for your inspirational story Dory, you are an amazing person and super coach. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Kay That's was one of my first comment. members who I coach, so she's very special to me because Aww. she helped me as much as I think I've helped her. So, so tell me, Shelley, what's life like for you now? How's it different? Oh, how's it not different? It's like, um, oh, it's just opened me up again that's a good way to describe it actually and I'm sure my husband wouldn't mind me saying that because in you know I've been with my husband for 12 years and over the last few years he would say to me you're putting your walls up all the time and he could see that because he'd been with me for for such a long time and I started to become really insular and I just kept closing in the walls around me I, I was so unhappy that I just didn't feel that I had anything of myself to give, you know. Obviously I'm a mum so I still gave everything to my daughter but I didn't feel 
that the other parts of me that had been there in the past that I could tap into anymore. I, honestly, mm-hmm. it was all, I was just totally in my own head so much of the time. And it, you know, it's so sad to say that, but it's just, you know, I'm an open book and that's exactly what it was like for me. So now I am so much more engaged in the relationships that I have. You know, I'm, I'm a better person for having put myself first and focused on myself and now I'm giving so much more to other people that it just would not have been possible without being on super fast. Wow, that's such a great story. Um, we've got so many comments coming in, Shelley. May Reed says, I love listening to Shelley's post, such oh, love you. and energy. Oh, um, <laughs> beautiful. Um, do you ever have a flat day when you lose the plot? Great question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, do, I do have flat days, but that's normally normal life. It's not connected in any way to my diet or my exercise or you know that's life I mean we we can't pretend that life doesn't throw everything at us and in the last 12 months I've had just as many things happen to me as in any other 12 month period but you know the way that I've handled them has been completely different that's right um and you know when all else is going pear-shaped you know that you've got your weight and your mindset under control. That's such a huge yes, difference, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh, more questions coming in. Um, so Kay says, thanks, Shelley, I feel the same. <laughs> Helen, hi, Helen. She does the 16-8 and she's in Malta for her son's wedding. Oh, wow. <gasps> How exciting, That's exciting. Helen. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to post photos for it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, yeah, that's great. So, um, if you had, yeah, if you had any advice for somebody out there who's like you, who's, you know, has heard about us, has heard about intermittent fasting and they're sort of on the fence thinking, yes. should I, shouldn't I, what would you say mm. to them? Well, obviously I would say that they need to get off the fence, but you really have to commit, I think, You have to commit to yourself. If you're prepared to commit to yourself and to put yourself first, and that's a really hard thing to do because everything in our life is about not putting ourselves first. You know, it's seen as selfish or, you know, there's so many other things we should focus on. And once you start to put yourself first, that's where all the change will start to happen. Great advice. That's what I would say. We've got a question, another question come in from Cranky Nan. <laughs> I oh. love that name, Cranky Nan. I'm sure you're not very cranky. <laughs> no. um, she said, what's the difference between the different methods of intermittent fasting? I can probably answer that for you, Cranky Nan. Um, so there's loads of different ways to do intermittent fasting, um, but we have condensed it down to three main simple ways. So we've got the two-day method where you eat for two days around 500 calories, um, which is a lot easier than you think uh, when we show you how. And then you've got the three-day method where you can have up to about 1,000 calories and that's even easier, um, but you just have to do it one extra day. And then we have part-day method. Sometimes you might hear 16-8 bandied around. That means eating within an eight-hour window and we call that part-day. There are lots of other methods. Um, but we keep it to those three until you really understand um, how to make this your way of life. And then we show you other more advanced methods. So Shelley's actually what we call a master faster. So our program actually does go for 36 weeks. Um, you don't have to stay all that time if you don't want to. You can leave us at any time you like. But we do encourage you to stay for the full 36-week program and then you become a master faster and it just gets better and better and it becomes part of your way of life and all the fantastic mindset um, and positive psychology that we give you it just adds to it. And as I say, um, and as Shelley said, it's so much more than just about losing weight and getting into skinny jeans. It's really about your whole personality and your whole attitude and your whole mindset 
and it's about getting happy with yourself and and just being happy with who you are isn't that right Shelley absolutely yeah yes yes so um one more question how much do you exercise I probably walk five days a week I would say and that is purely because I find for my mental health that that's really important. I just want to get up in the morning and jump out of bed and, and get the day started. So that's why I walk. I, you know, the, the exercise apart from that that I do is probably a couple of um, weight training sessions a week. But when I say that sounds really mm, like I'm some gym bunny, it's not the case. I'm literally at home doing, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, lunges, squats. You know, you don't have to make exercise complicated. Yeah, and so I, I certainly don't. I mean, my days of going to the gym are uh, long gone. I know you're a big fan of the gym, Vic, but I just I can't it. fit it in at the moment. So no, we've got I, little. I do what little, I can do. Child. Yeah. Donna's got a question. What does SFD actually provide? Recipes, meal plans, and what's special? about SFD. Do you want to answer that? <laughs> well, I can answer it from a member perspective and yeah, say that the support way. that you receive within the Facebook group and the way that it starts to change your mindset in such a natural, it's such an organic, natural way from when I first signed up and I started getting those weekly emails sent to me and started watching the videos with Shelley Horton, Dr. Happy, Shannon, Dr. Penny. It's just, it taps right into your mind and you feel like they're talking to you and you feel like they understand exactly where you are coming from. And that's, that's so important to help you to get started because once you get started and you start to share a bit more in the Facebook group and you start to buddy up with members and, and just, it just, everything just naturally grows within the program that's that's what I found that is a great summary <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah just to further answer your question Donna we do provide beautiful recipes and there are lots of sample meal plans for you um, however I think it's really important to understand this is not like Michelle Bridges where you know week one this is what you eat um, we give you ideas and we give you suggestions and recipes and sample meal plans but what we're trying to do is actually teach you how to fish so that you eat. Days because then no. you go out to lunch with someone and you blow it. <laughs> or or <laughs> you look at them and you go, I don't like that. I wouldn't eat that. Yeah. I'm not going to buy that. That's right, no, it's, or it's too hard to cook or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. That's it. That's right. Um, oh, my goodness, we're keeping going on. We, we were going to wrap up, but I want to really yeah. answer these lovely, okay. lovely people's questions. Hazel says, do you pre-plan your meals for a few days or a week in advance? I always pre-plan my fasting days, and that's easy because I do them so early in the week. So on a mm. Sunday I will set aside one hour at the most and I will – um, either pre-make my salads and, you know, in the summertime it was more about having – I always do two meals on a 500-day. I don't try mm -hmm. and stretch it over three. So if Me I'm at too. home, I might have an omelette. I always do this really simple omelette for just under 200 calories, two eggs, a little bit of feta, a little bit of butter, and that's my sort of lunch. And then dinner would be vegetables with some sort of chicken usually. I'm – Look, I'm not an adventurous person. I don't eat a lot of fish or meat, so I tend to stick to chicken and falafel. So it's it's easy to pre-prepare pre if you're doing it early in the week, I find, because, you know, the food's sitting there and I'm, I'm eating it within three days. So mm, always yeah. plan your fast days and then start to work through the rest of the week from that point. That would be yes. my advice. Excellent advice. And Leslie says, how do you cook when you're on fast days and for the rest of the family? It sounds like you just do the same for them, do you? Just give them more? 
I look, I don't mind cooking different food from for the family compared to what mm-hmm. I'm eating for myself. It is only two days a week that I'm eating differently. So yeah. it's not, you know, sometimes on a Sunday if I make up a big pot of soup, which I did um, last Sunday, then on my fasting days I'm eating that. And so are the family. They're just eating more than I am, you know. Yes, great. It's, and Chris has got a question too. I like that you plan your own meals and know how many calories are in everything. Most meal plans, there's something you don't like and you have to try yes. and change them around and it becomes too exactly. hard. Exactly. Point, exactly. Point, exactly. That's right. Well, I think we'd better wrap it up because we've gone way over time, but that's because we've had so many questions and I've really wanted to answer them. Um, but if we haven't answered your question, I'm really sorry, but we will answer them for you in the comments. We do have to wrap up um, now. And if you haven't joined Superfast Diet yet, please join us and you can have the same results as beautiful Shelley. There's no reason why you can't do it too. And you get your free 14-day trial right now. It is ending this week. So um, you've got to grab it now and just go to superfastdiet.com, hit that join now button. And then after the 14 days, you can stay with us. It's only $1.54 a day, which is nothing to change your life, right? (laughs) Um, So we would love to see you. Thank you so much, Shelley, for joining us and spending your Tuesday afternoon with us. Um, We've loved every second of listening to you. Just love, I could listen to you all day, honestly. (laughs) Such a great story. Um, So, Thank you so much and we'll see you all at superfastdiet.com. We hope to see you on the inside. Yes, come and join us. Yay, bye. Bye.